So iOS is great, but it does lack a little bit of customization. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make the ultimate iOS home screen and have something like this that's a little bit different. We've got space, we've got transparent widgets and our apps at the bottom. Now, thankfully it's easy to do and we only need two apps to do this. So we'll just get right into it. So the two apps you need are gonna be MD Blank and Widgy. Both of them are available for free in the App Store. MD Blank is completely free to do this. Widgy is free for one widget, which is all we need. When it comes to Widgy, if you wanna use it for multiple widgets, it's 4.99 and that's a one-off fee for the rest. But as I said, we only need one, so you don't need to pay. So first step is pick your wallpaper. Now this is from Hecaton on Twitter. So I'll place a link to his Twitter down in the description if you wanna check him out. Some of his wallpapers are free. And again, some are a one-off payment for his Telegram group, but I like the high contrast design. So I use them a lot as you might've seen in my thumbnails. Once we've done that, you need to scroll to a blank page. So go near the end of your apps and you just need to go to the screen where you can move all your apps around. That will allow us to go to the end screen where there's completely nothing on the screen. Once you're here, you just take a screenshot by pressing volume up and power and it takes a screenshot of the blank page. So once you've done that, you need to download MD Blank and Widgy from the App Store. So nice and easy to do, they're on the App Store. So if I just find it, this is MD Blank here. And you can see I've already got it because I haven't changed wallpaper, but once you've taken a screenshot, you select your screenshot and that's it for the widget. So if I go back onto my home screen, I'll delete the blank space I have got. So if I remove widget, remove that, and you'll see they all automatically move up. So what you need to do, add yourself a widget and scroll down to the app part of the widgets, pick MD blank, which doesn't actually have a name. And the reason it doesn't have a name is because it doesn't leave any names underneath the widget. So I wish Widgy did the same, but you can see we can pick from small, medium or large. Of course, I want it centrally there. So I'm gonna go medium. So I just press add widget. As you can see, it goes to the top. I don't actually want it at the top. So I'm gonna move that down there. Once you've done that, press done. And you'll notice it doesn't line up with the screen. So the home screen that is lined up for the top. So all we've got to do to fix that is hold it, edit widget, and you can see V position for vertical position. It's set to top. If we press on that, change it to mid. When I go back, you'll see it goes white and it perfectly matches. So that's step one. So you can put your apps beneath. And of course you can do this in any arrangement you want. And then for those of you that want a transparent widget like that, Again, we're gonna use the same screenshot, but all we have to do now is open up Widgy. Now, Widgy's a great app, and I've got this widget here for my weather and the time, but there's so many different ones to choose from. And all you have to do is the first step where you see manage. At the top right, you have to press set transparent background. And as you can see, mine is set here. So all you would do, press this, same screenshot, so it's not gonna make a difference. Haven't done this for a while, so it wants me to update the permissions, that's fine. Press done tick it's going to generate the images and what widgy does is generate images for all positions and then you can go ahead and select your style so you can see i've actually got the paid version here but if you didn't you'd only have one so if you tap to customize scroll through you've got loads of widgets to choose from and this is just my imported section if you go into the explore you can see there's so many widgets so many transparent ones you've got one like that but we're going to use the one i've got so if i just find the name so the name for this one, for those of you that want to use it, if you just search for clean info, it'll come up on the screen. And again, all you have to do is set a slot so you can do anything you want. Set your slot, I've already got my clean info. So as you can see, mine is going to be at the top, so I select there. And we're on the bigger widget, you've got all the different sizes, but if you wanted middle, bottom, simple as that, and then you just press the tick. And you can see it's now added the widget there and you can do this for any widgets in their selection. So once you've done that again, back to the home screen, I've got mine there. So I will just, oh, I missed. So I'll just remove the widget, remove. Again, it's gone out of sync because that one's in the wrong place. But if I go over to Widgy, scroll through down to the W's, press on Widgy, and you can see you've got the small, medium, or large, lots of slots for each. And there you can see those are the two I've added. So if I just press on that one, add widget, sits at the top, perfectly matches up. And that's that done. But the great thing about Widgy is there's so many widgets available. And as you can see, there's just so much customization. This is the way I like it. A few people have said in the comments on some of my videos that they don't like it because it looks like Android. But of course, each to their own. We've all got our own personal preferences. So that's it for today's video. I just wanted to show you this layout here. But of course, I'm going to be doing more in future. So if you want to see more, then make sure you subscribe to the channel.